Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to Persona 3 Reload. Hopefully I got to leave that intro in. I don't know if YouTube will be mad at me for it or not, but fingers crossed. If, if I wasn't able to leave it in, go look it up. Incredible opening, great visuals, really good song. Just, I loved it. It was great. I think my favorite parts of that opening, I wanted to mention this specifically. So again, hopefully I could leave it in the video. I love when it's Ken and Akihiko and Shinji in the train and it's just flipping between them and it's like switching which of the two are standing there until it goes to the or sitting there until the dark hour hits really loved that moment I really love when they show Junpei and he's like waving his hand looking all happy and then it immediately goes to dark hour and he looks horrified and all that I think those of us who have played Persona 3 before know what scene that is referring to specifically really good stuff and then of course the bestest boy Koromaru seeing him uh, with the at the little shrine area build up that was great and the moment when all of the characters like bring out their evokers one after another and some of their personas just a really really good opening great opening but here we are persona 3 reload has finally released i am playing it we played persona 3 portable on the channel not that long ago and when i played portable i believe reload was announced or was announced while i was playing it and I wasn't sure if I was actually going to play it or not, because I was like, oh, I just played Portable. I probably need to play 4 on the channel again, because I've only done that once. And I, was, I wasn't I was super sold on it, because Reload is just of the original Persona 3. I don't think it covers FES or any Portable aspects. But as time passed, as more stuff about the game was announced, as I saw more footage of it, and as we just got closer to the release, I can't lie. I got really, really excited. I've been like, for the past couple of weeks, I've just been super hyped. Like, whenever I saw footage of the game, I was like, dude, Persona 3 Reload looks so good. It's such a great, like, upgrade visually from the original. And they've apparently added, like, more voice social links. And, like, I think they've even expanded on some social links, I think, was mentioned. I don't know, because I didn't follow very much about it because I already knew I was going to play it. And I stopped watching trailers when I know I'm going to play something. So, I am super hyped to get to play Persona 3 Reload, play Persona 3 on the channel for the third time because I love the Persona franchise, and I'm really excited to see what Reload brings to the game in general because I'm, I'm just hoping it's a better experience overall because Persona 3 is pretty old. It was the first Persona game with like this style of Persona because Persona 1 and 2, to my understanding, are much different from 3, 4, and 5. So, I'm hoping a lot of quality of life changes, the game is just better in general, mechanically, because the original three had some issues here and there that got on my nerves, personally. So, I'm, I'm really excited. I am really, really pumped to play through this game once again, and get to just go through the story of all of these great characters once more. So, without further ado, let's new game it up. Uh, we're probably just going to stay on normal. We're just going to play on normal. Ooh, the butterfly. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future, you have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these, I don't know how to say this word, halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. Something else in the opening that I forgot to mention is that bit where uh, the moon like looks like an eye and then you see Ryoji and the blood uh, and whatnot reflected in it. 
really like that in the opening as well. Yeah, this seems normal. Nothing to worry about. A lot of people drop their Kool-Aid. I arrived so late. I'd better hurry up. In the original Persona 3, don't they throw you, like, straight to the dorm? Iwatodai dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. Man, this already looks so good. That cutscene was phenomenal. Ooh, baby. Look at us running around, getting blood on our feet. Oh, you actually hear the splatter noise when you step in the blood. How nice. Now, I will say, the thing that I am least looking forward to, by the way, is I know that, like, all of the characters have new voice actors, and I really, like, I really loved the original voice actors, mainly Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal's voice, it's such a, I'm, it's gonna feel so wrong to hear Ryoji when he gets, when we get to him in the game and it's not Yuri Lowenthal. I'm gonna miss Yuri Lowenthal's performance. But, uh, I've at least heard Mitsuru's new voice, and Mitsuru's voice actress sounds a lot like her original one, so hopefully it isn't too jarring, but I've played so many Persona games that involve the Persona 3 cast that use the original cast's voices that it's gonna feel so weird to hear them with different voices already with Yukari in that opening cutscene. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like Yukari. What the heck? But, you know, what are you going to do? This is a, a coffin-like object. Not to be confused with a coffin. It is coffin-like. Is this a coffin? Sure is, buddy. Why does the midnight hour include so much blood on the ground? Where does this blood come from? It won't budge. Where did everyone go? I too would be calmly walking through the streets in a moment like this. Uwatodai dorm. I guess this is it. Who the heck gets to their dorm at midnight, bro? Should have gotten a way earlier train. What's up? Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. 
All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. I don't want to accept responsibility for my actions, though. All right, I will question nothing. Signature. I can barely even read the fine print. It's so glowy. What the heck, dude? I'm like signing my soul away. What is going on here? Agree to the statement above. I choose this fate of mine own free will. All right, all right. It's Minato Arisato? Is it, it should be, Arisato should be the last name. Minato should be the first name. Is this the first name? I can never, the Japanese does it backwards. So I hope I'm doing this right. Arizona, Minato, Arizona, let's go. Ari, Aristotle. Minato Arisato. Is this right, chat? This is right, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Minato Arisato. Did I spell that correctly? I sure hope I did. Good. What if Mysterious Boy can't read? Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. Are you... Are you wearing flip-flops in your prisoner outfit right now? And so, it begins. I guess you go to one of those whimsical prisons. Yeah, I'm still unfazed by all this. Who's there? Hey. How are you here at this hour? Did you also see the small child explode into darkness? He was taken by Ansem the Wise. Don't tell me. Wait. The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. I can't remember the name of her original VA off the top of my head, but this Mitsuru voice is pretty close to the OG one, but I can tell it's not the same. I already miss Mitsuru's original voice actress. He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy storm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Why do you have a gun? A hobby? Oh, you're American. I didn't realize. I mean, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. Yeah, I believe you. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Here's your room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Yeah, does that kid who exploded into darkness within darkness, does he also live here? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. 
Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? There was a lot of Kool-Aid on the ground. What you talking about, Yukari? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Yukari's voice is definitely going to take some getting used to. It doesn't really sound that familiar to her original one. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. You can save your progress in the game by pressing the options button. Saving is possible whenever it's displayed on the screen. By saving your game in the network slot, you can upload save data online. Yeah, I'm not messing with any of that. Do 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 do. Trophies earned during gameplay on one console will not transfer to a, transfer to another console. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Trophies based on numerical values, such as completing an action a certain number of times or retaining a certain amount of something, will be reset to zero upon transferring to it. Yeah, sure, whatever, dude. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back in time to that time by opening the menu, going to system, and selecting rewind. They put Divine Pulse from Fire Emblem Three Houses in Persona Three Reload. That's neat. When you select a rewind slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you saved your game. Note that the rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure to continue to save your game as necessary. That sounds very interesting. I don't need tutorials. I'm a gamer. I know what's up. Okay, this is all looking pretty cool. I just didn't connect to the network thing because I don't care about the online stuff in Persona. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. I should put away my stuff. I think I actually got a pre-order bonus when I opened the uh, thing. I don't know if it was a pre-order bonus specifically or if it was just like a bonus that you get for buying the game physical. But, uh, or you might not even need physical. It might just be something included. But there was a code to get um, some Persona 4 music, which we might do later, because that could be fun. This is a really long game. We could listen to some Persona 4 music here and there. I see my tired face reflected in the mirror. I should go to sleep early today. Yeah, seeing my tired face in the mirror, very, very normal. It's the fridge. There's nothing in particular that I want to chill right now. <laughs> Didn't bring any drinks or anything. Should probably rest on the bed instead of sitting in the chair. Bedtime. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. Oh, by the way, speaking of trophies, I don't know the trophy list for this game at all. I don't know if it's possible to get a platinum in one playthrough like it is in Persona 5 Royal. I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. They probably defaulted to the original, like, trophy system of like you have to uh max out every social link in one go and you have to fill out the compendium and maybe you even have to ng plus for a secret boss fight and stuff like that so i don't know if it's reasonable to get the platinum in one playthrough without requiring me to like follow a guide to make sure i do everything for it like it is in persona 5 royal we'll try and platinum the game in this playthrough if it's not and it's like hey you had to do very specific days and whatnot because i don't know if we're gonna be able to like max the social links and whatnot the only game that makes it like, doable to max all the social links without following a detailed guide is Persona 5 Royal. It gives you enough time and enough options. I wouldn't expect them to have changed enough stuff in Reload to make it more doable. Usually, in my experience, when playing 3 and 4, and even the original Persona 5, you can usually, if you're trying to, max out all but, like, two, maybe three of the social links slash confidants. So, if that's the case for how it is here, then... You know, not a whole lot we can do because I'm not going to follow a strict guide to make sure we get every social link done and thus would miss a trophy. But if it is doable, we'll try and do it, basically. So, uh, yeah, let's sleep in our bed. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. Do we, do we have to go to school? 